Boy type team. We live. Uh, also, we kind of late, but you know, we on CV time right now. You know, just trying to get it right. That's coronavirus. For y'all that didn't uh, that pick up. Well, we down there. But yeah, we did a, uh, you know, our own club this past Saturday. And we was like, since we about to be locked in in quarantine, then I think we right, you know, up under the 10. What it said, don't. Be in groups of 10 or more. Well, we good. Right. You know, we good. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We, we, we still fit. You know, Going so on the way. That'd be sad. You know, got the Jam Session podcast popping off. We're going to uh, do some music. You know, we're going to chop it up. You know, but, uh, you know, everybody introduce yourself. I'm T. Walker. I'm E. Also known as No More. Um, I'm Chelsea. Uh, also known as 50 Shades of Grey. C. for Marty. Shout out to all my followers. <laughs> what? 50 Shades of Brown. Why do I keep saying 50 Shades of Grey? 50 Shades of Brown. Yeah. What'd you say? Huh? <laughs> I said my name is Morgan. Renee Myers. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ty, one half of Food of Fire. Mm-hmm. Woof woof. Colin, also known as Colin with K. So, I mean, uh, what's on y'all hearts and minds? What y'all want to do? What you trying to see? I'm trying to figure out what. Did you want to switch? I mean, we can. We don't have to. Ooh, what you didn't do? Oh, uh, shoot. What's but yeah, what's, what you, what you, oh, oh yeah, you got something new here? I see plastic coming off of yeah. new. I mean, new. Oh, super new. Like new super new. So, Colin with a K apparently got him a new guitar here. Yeah. You want to break it in tonight? Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. Pop new cherries on guitars. <laughs> so, I mean, what's on y'all minds? How y'all feeling? What's y'all thoughts during, uh, you know, on this here, what's today? Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Corona Wednesday. How y'all feeling? I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm amazing. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. <laughs> Living my best life. Despite everything going crazy out here, mm -hmm. like, I feel really good, comfortable. Got some food in here, so, chilling. Sure. I got the sniffles, but I don't have that runner. So it's all oh, good. Oh, Lord. But, you know, I have some tea. tea. She's medicating herself, so that's important. Yeah. That's what I've been doing today. I've been doing self care all day. I've been making sure I've been getting some groceries I need and eating some healthy things. Had a smoothie, had a kale salad, had some walnut meat spaghetti. So yeah, I've been right. I'm on yeah. the walnut meat like trail right now. It's like it's good. You just soak walnuts for a day or two or whatever. Do your thing, season it. You can eat so, it raw. You don't have to heat. You can't taste right. the difference. But, uh, in, like, beef. You really tell can't. Them. It's really good. You had a taco. Yeah, them tacos was hitting me. Oh, yeah. the best yeah. parts of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, is this because, like, you transition into, like, eating no meat? Or are you just doing something after <laughs> alternate? Like, what's, what's the move on it? I'm enjoying trying plant-based meals, period. Um, so, yeah, I do want alternatives to meat. Because, you know, you hear so much about it. And, Right. So and it's like I don't really need it. I don't really even eat that much anyway. Like I'd be cool off a of smoothie and some stuff. So like if I can try an alternative, why not? Word up. Yeah. Start shrinking your stomach. That too. I gotta exercise though, cause I be eating right and then still don't be oh, losing weight. Like I gotta like turn up. Like an actual. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The fat, the good. <laughs> um. so like the literal on the inside. Okay. Okay. Oh, that starts to shrink. Yeah. Like, oh. Hmm. How you feeling about so uh Oh grandma's calling <laughs> I see you now. Yeah. Yeah. It's my grandma birthday. Yeah. We love yeah. grandma. Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday, yeah. grandma yeah. Ruth. Yeah. Wait, I guess it's is, is the live gonna start back when grandma stops calling? Oh no, I'm about to find it out. Oh, well, Let's learn something. Well, hey, I t oh no, you can't decline yeah, Granny. She can decline you, but you can't <laughs> decline Granny. Yeah. We know about it, alright? Okay, yeah, it's bad. Yeah. grandmother called. Right. Yeah, what's up, kid? Appreciate whoever's uh tuned in. If y'all have some questions or some, you know, some ideas, some topics y'all want to hear a group of fly intellectual individuals chop it up about, like we would be all down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Y'all got here. She made this. No, a different color. Oh, okay. I've been doing red and yellow, and these I'm gonna try black tomorrow. I'm gonna release that tomorrow. So okay. yeah, release. I like that. Like, yeah, I like this black. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, I like this yeah, black. I like no more. What's no more? What does that mean? Uh, why is it spelled that way? Knowledge is power. When you what? You always correct me at the end. No more. <laughs> no. Okay. Come on, smoke You say knowledge is power when it's applied. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've been I've been correcting myself lately. But yeah, that's, that's right. pretty much all it stands for. Um being true to yourself, always continue learning, teaching yourself new things, researching things that you don't understand quite well. That's that's really what, what the brand stands for. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. That's it. When you uh like cook up your releases mm-hmm. and yeah, you know different Slogans. How do you choose? You know what you want to use, what you want to release. Ooh, if, you wanna, if you don't want to, if you don't want to hold on to it, you know what I mean. So we and shit. I will say like, there's a couple of things I've been sitting on. It's like you don't know how people are gonna take it. Like I try mm-hmm. to get a little bold with stuff every now and then. Mm-hmm. So it's a couple of things that I sit on for a while until like something happens, and then I'll be like, okay, this is the perfect time for this. But like mm-hmm. just watching Twitter for the most part, like it's where I get a lot of my ideas from. Twitter is, is crazy on here. <laughs> like, Twitter wow. It's, it's a new topic every day, multiple ah, topics. I love Twitter for that. Like it, it just keeps my mind going. It makes me think a lot. I can go research something like, dang, I wonder if anybody else has heard about that. And sometimes I'll pull time like, yo, you heard about this before? Right. And that'll start a discussion. Like I just want mm-hmm. my teachers to start a conversation sometimes. Yeah. Like you wear it out, somebody else might know mm-hmm. what that means and might need a new friend or something. Like mm-hmm. I just want to mean something more than just a t shirt. Have any of your uh, have any of them like started conversations that you've been around or have heard about or anything like that? <laughs> yeah. Tribe called plus I'm looking at your shirt, that's why. But that one right there, everybody always asks like, what tribe? What tribe? Like all of us. Like yeah, we, bl- we should be blessed out here. So you know what I'm saying? Like that's one example. Um the knowledge is power shirt that I had a while ago. Um that helps me explain more what my clothing brand even stands for. So that starts a conversation with that. Um, and that was also, I had teachers in mind. It was like right around the time where school was about to start back up. That was smart. That was strategic marketing. Yeah, yeah. A couple of teachers bought some from me or whatever. It's like, hmm. people was feeling that. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. My mind just be going ham sometimes. And I just write stuff down, try to put them on a shirt, make it look dope. So that's how everything really goes for me. Mm. I dig that. It's a fun process. Do all of y'all find writing stuff down helpful on your journey? Yes, at this age. That's the key. <laughs> Not at this age. Exactly. <laughs> she the elder in the room, y'all. <laughs> she on break of voice. <laughs> That's where the magic happened, though. Like, until you write it down, is it real? Or is it just I a mean, dream? I mean, it in my head. Yeah, but then what happens after that? You forget it sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, you just yeah, in your in your mind like a dream. Mm. Like, putting that? it on paper brings it into this reality. Like, yeah. mm. But then I think, too, like, it's all about too, like yeah, write it down. That's important because writing writing it down helps you to be able to see it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but you have to take the steps to actual actually apply it. And for me, that's something that I've been struggling with, like just taking a step, just doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, write, writing it down is definitely definitely a step. It works for me. Because uh, I, I, I definitely forget a lot of stuff because I think so much stuff. You know what I mean? Some <laughs> ideas stick, you know what I mean? Because, like, I get to them right away. You know, like, even my most recent was the shit, I guess, the unplug. You know what I mean? I was like, that day, that was a collaborative idea. I hit Tyrissa. Tyrissa was like, we might as well do it tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, bet. Say less. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> First thing in the morning. Let's go. All right. Bet. Pyrrhon set up. And then it spun off into this. I like creating, like, spontaneous. I'm just spontaneous. I like the way I hit the thing on the fly. But the writing does help because every once in a while, I'll go back and look over the things that yeah, I have exactly. written. You know, I might not even act on them right away, but at least I can have my ideas sitting there. And I just went through my a thousand notes. You know what I mean? On my iPad the other day, and I found mm-hmm. an idea from uh, shit, early 2017. Mm-hmm. I was like, hmm, now is the time for me to actually act on that, though. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, I, right, I right, 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 stuff like that at the same time. Yeah, that, you ever heard doing the, the right thing at the wrong time? Mm-hmm. You know? Still the wrong thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, but. I like that too, because sometimes it's still energy, and you'll come back to it at the right time. Yeah. What you cooking up, Miss Myers? Ooh. 
Honey, what I'm cooking up. Mm-hmm. I like communicating too, and I like when people start conversations. So I'm doing that very heavily on Facebook through my group called The Exchange. Mm-hmm. And today was Women Wednesday, and we talked about different topics that affect both genders. Well, men and women. I'm mean, just that's where I'm at with it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it got kind of spicy today, but it was great. It's always a learning lesson. What did you, you learn today? What was the, today's lesson? Oh, it was so many. Well, Every, so people send me questions yeah. sometimes, and sometimes I ask them. Mm-hmm. And one of the biggest questions that people bring up is, like, women and accountability. Like, men always mm-hmm. ask me, like, ask the women, do they hold themselves accountable? I'm like, why is this always such a conversation? Like, we can't well, I mean, say when we're wrong. Can you ask any of the men, like, why they, why they like even asking us? No, because today would be the last day that I ask it. <laughs> I'm talking about ask them themselves, like, instead of asking the women, like, because, mm-hmm. I mean, shit, they quit. Why even ask it 20 times? Mm-hmm. Right. Have I have, mm, no, I haven't. What I would do is tag them in an old post. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, I talk about that. But you're right. That's a good point. Mm. So, yeah. I mean, so what was today's lesson? What was the topic? Um, so, self-care was a huge topic, and we were also um, speaking on... Um, when we're intimate with people, do we ask them up front like about their status or to get tested with us or do we just go off the vibes? And the majority of the answer I asked the women, I was like, have a guy ever asked you your status or asked to go get tested with you? And 90% of the answers was never. A guy has never. Um, a lot of women say that they have to initiate that conversation. And so it just made me think, like, wow, like, we know we want to have sex with each other, but it seems that it's always guys that never mm-hmm. ask those pertinent questions. Yeah. But we always talk about protecting each other and mm-hmm. trusting yeah. each other and being safe. It's like, are we really? Mm-hmm. Especially when, you know, you're single and you're not just with one partner and you can't give me a date of the last time or we can't have that conversation comfortably. So it just it just showed me a lot about how we operate and don't so really uh, communicate. Hold on, so what was the question again? Like, right. have the... Have any of the men asked them? Have men ever asked in their sexual history? What's the percentage of men that have asked them, the woman, about their STD status or to go get tested with them? And ninety percent of their answers were never. A guy has wow. never asked. Hmm. You clean? I, I'm trying to hmm. eat that boss out, but you good? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even ask. They don't, even if the answer is yes, yeah, no matter what lie you tell them or true, like they gonna right, go with right, it. Right. They don't even ask. Yikes, that needs to change. And then they don't ask, hey, you want to go get tested together before we do this? Because I'm really trying to rock your boat. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Hopefully. I hope you they don't know. say that. <laughs> That's nah, she probably going to have somebody say I'm that. I'm going to say it. Someone said that. Yeah. Did you like she that? She probably said that. Oh, bro. Giving out my, my tips. <laughs> 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 Yikes. Trying to get the boat rock. Let's go get tested. <laughs> right. Um, a lot of them were saying, I would have to go back through, probably about 60-70% were saying that they they initiate the conversation, they make sure they don't have sex with new partners. Some women said that they're either monogamous or celibate, there's no in between. Um, one person said, that's why I wear condoms, because I just don't trust people. Because people can tell you, yeah, um, but if you have five, six, seven partners within the three to six months, at, you know, before you get tested again, you might have got something by then. So, True. she was like, I'm still wearing them. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but also, well, that's another story for another day. Only about 30%. Wednesday, Wednesday though, though. We're actually, popping, we're huh? Condom alone. Like, what happened now? It's only about like thirty percent of the girls I talk to like even mention the condom alone. And that's what some right. guys said. They said like, girls don't ask to, us either. Like I pause and I wait. I'm like, yo, you know, my joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that short all that shit is about to have right. them pause. Right. Like, it's like. More than 75% of the time, it's like, hurry up. I'm like, okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, like, hurry up and get in there? Right, or? yeah, and I'm just like. Right. Let's <laughs> it's, like, it's always close. Like, <laughs> even though I'm playing it's games, it's always close. Right. Wow. Oh, my God. What made you start the exchange page? Well, <laughs> so, you. Uh, we went to some uh, radio station, and we tried oh, to yeah, attempt sorry. something. Yeah. And we had a show going, and I think we had to very quickly come up with a name. And I don't know how that came to be, to be honest. I can't even get that deep, but it just came to me. And we rocked with it, 
and we was recording me using uh, Born King for a little bit, putting on SoundCloud, and then I was inconsistent. I interviewed you before, yeah. so I've had moments where I've been on and off, but now it's just like now's the time, and like now I have the Facebook group to support these topics. Um, so I like to present that to the world because it's, it's cool. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I definitely see you as like being a talk show host. For Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. That's all I, I want to do, man. That's <laughs> all I want to do. It's so fun. Yeah. So the other night, man, Monday, I did a live and I had people call in. And y'all not text at me. So I got this speaker with an aux cord in my phone. People calling on my Google Voice number. like, And it's like a real back Ricky date, Ricky Lake back in the day. It's like, hello? Wow. Uh, hi. Yes. Ricky Lake. That's how you know. Crazy. I know that's all That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. She precedes Oprah. Ricky Lake, she came on at three o'clock. Yeah, talk about it. Oprah came on at four. Right after. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Right. Yeah. Ricky Lake. It's like, okay, so you like a, it's like a Oprah meets Jerry Springer. Ooh. What you got going on that day? Jerry, though, maybe more. Nah, because he get active. You know maybe mean? Maury. Jerry. Maury. 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 Wait a minute. No, we do go to Jerry Limit sometimes. Yeah, I'm about to say, I... Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, do we? okay. You know, maybe so it's 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 got the balance though. That's a heavy balance right there. You know, because sometimes it get raw. Oh yeah. But I mean, that'd be, yeah, be good. I mean, conversation. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. like, you a good person. Or you you good at keeping people in bounds mm -hmm. and letting people mm -hmm. know, hey, you crossing the line, or did you actually read the instructions mm -hmm. that I have up here? Mm -hmm. All right. Because I'm a teacher, and right. my company is edu to more of my edutainment group. So you're learning, but you're being entertained. And I'm going to challenge you to learn. I'm going to challenge you to read. Especially if it's in all caps. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's right there. It's eyeballs. Right, right. So speaking of teachers, you know, what's this time like for you? This mm. time off, this quarantine, away from class. Mm. It's, um, away from class. it's conflicting mm. because... To one degree, like, it's not like a teacher couldn't have used a break right now. Right. Uh, you know how much I've slept? A lot. Like, <sighs> yes. Um, the, the sad part is, you know, to think how close to the end of the school year we are and how much normalcy are we really going to see mm -hmm. before the end. I really feel for my seniors, especially mm -hmm. with the particular situation I'm, I've am i been trying to deal with being back in my alma mater and those challenges alone. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of them didn't get to really do a lot or go many places um, and really kind of, you know, you used to have prom that may or may not be oh, happening. I didn't think about that. We got to do something over the summer for them. You know, it's but it's still... It's still <laughs> Changes a lot of things Dang, for yeah. somebody if you think about their yeah, senior year. Yeah. So, yeah, um, high school, right, going school. out like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, and then, you know, it's cool to now be forced to teach from an online perspective to see how creative I can get mm -hmm. um, outside of everybody's like, how are you going to do band? <laughs> I'm like, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. Some of them add instruments, others of them don't. But for those that don't, you're just going to have to make up that time off of the instrument on right. uh, the computer. So it's a lot. It's so much technology. It's so much creativity and just things that I know how to do that I was never taught in school. So I can really kind of take advantage of like, I really couldn't do this in the band classroom with you. But I can actually show you some things now that you're on your technology and I'm on mine. So I'm excited about getting creative in that aspect, but the whole social aspect and for those that might be missing out kind of sucks. And at some point or another, I'm going to see somebody, <laughs> not on the screen. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm conflicted, so to speak. You know. Yeah, mm. I can I can you know relate to relate to that. Um, I think the issue that I'm seeing, you know, working at a college is. You have a lot of instructors and people who don't want to go online. So that's conflicting within itself. Okay. But we're preparing to move on. Hey. Hi. Hey. 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 What's up, friends and family? Hey. Hey. Thanks to me. Selene. <laughs> 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 Greetings. Hi. Hi. Uh, you know, since you, you know, fresh in here, it was okay. popping. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But, uh, 
you know, we were just talking to her about, uh, you know, as a teacher, what's this, what's this time like for you right now? Stressful. Okay. <laughs> It's what? overwhelming because it's like so many emails and chats and the phone. Oh. What, just twist the phone a little so it faces the cable. That bad girl. What? Keep, keep going. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's just like so many things that they're telling us to do and so many different like updates. Like every ten minutes, it's like, well, make sure you do this and make sure you send this out and make sure you turn this in and. Yeah. Whew, I'm like, okay, mm. okay. So yesterday, I really didn't do much at all. Like I was just like, mm, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> been waiting on them emails to slow down. Yeah, like what's the, uh, what's the synopsis? Yeah, like all give that me the gist, right? You know? Thank you. And I couldn't, I couldn't get it yesterday. I was just like, this is a lot. And wow. of course, I have a two-year-old, so I was just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's too much. <laughs> y'all are asking for a lot right now. Got all and, your hours. Yeah. But, so, but I did all that right. today. <laughs> so I was like, all right, you know. I was, I was, y'all let me know when y'all, y'all pick this back up. <laughs> <laughs> it was wild though. Like, no, I did. Let me get a sub for this. Somebody called me. Let me get a sub. 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 Let me Man, we drink a lot of water, though. Because people need to wipe their ass. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't make it. Oh, we got towels, my nigga. Like, no, no. in a wash and dry. I'm saying, if you come down to it, if you come down to it, I dig it, but, like, not by choice. Yeah, right. Like, I'm only, 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 I'
Call it about the corona. Call it about the corona.
Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on.
just like a lot. I got like about twenty plus people up like under me, so a lot of them are stressed out about it. they got kids, yeah. school. Like this one girl, she just started working a job and now they're kicking her out of the dorms after they closed school down. Oh, mm-hmm. So now she about to lose out on money. Yeah. She got to go back home. She's trying to find people to stay with. You know, daycare is closing down. Like single moms, especially who lean on like they closed the dorms. They, yeah, they closed the dorms. Yeah. Sebastian Village. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, they getting about yeah. it. I cleaned the lady's Airbnb and somebody booked today wanting her daughter to stay till like the end of April because she won't be in the dorms. Right. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. So, so that school Nancy is shutting down? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. on Monday, was it Monday? Somebody was saying that they weren't. Just like him, just like him. Just like him. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah. How I ain't got six hours. Time to drink ginger ale today. I've been eating. Ginger ale today. I was impressed with him talking about five. I don't get sick. I ain't no mess up. I'm sorry, that's what I'm talking about five. My immune system is very high. What?
That whipple snapper. Mm. That leather high. Oh, you sick. <laughs> Till you wear a soap. Alright. Beat the sick out of you. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, no. Mm. Yikes. Mm. That doesn't work, Mom. It doesn't. It will today. <laughs> And that flip will come after you get to cry, that flip will come right out. I know y'all, some of y'all know what this little child abuse we talked about. Big <laughs> <laughs> shit, that's what somebody was. No yeah. solution, just yeah. <laughs> beatings. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Give you something to cry about. So maybe, I'm already crying. Right, so what's the difference between a spanking and a beating? Mm. They enjoy it. Oh. <laughs> Perspective. I think a beating can go too far. Like the that sounds like it's more brutal. Yeah. Like, the the force you put behind. Yes. Yeah, and the like eyes like when you're a child, you like very right. child. Yeah. Like you yeah. know, yeah. you like threefold maybe. Um, no, you can still be eight nine getting the spanking. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, what's what's what is it's just making right? like a quick like stop doing that and then a beat and it's like Yeah. No, a quick yeah. stop doing that is getting pop. Okay, that's a pop. Okay, okay. that's a pop. Yeah. So there's a pop, a spanking, and a beat? Yeah. Where but now we don't know what other the other levels we might add. Where does whooping fall? Is whooping well, like I think those are pretty Alright, right, so beating is whipping. probably more with the hands. Okay. Whooping is with something. Okay. Like a belt. Or a switch mm -hmm. or Cord. other object. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just leave that. But some of that could be beaten. And, then, is, it, and is there an age range associated with these three? Mm. Mm. I don't I think feel so because like grown people can get whooping too. Whooping uh, or beaten? Beat. I feel like a grown person can get whooping. Well, you yeah. ain't about to pop no 12 year old though. That's pop. true. No, um, bro, you know better, right? Nah, you get pop. To the mouth, like, like, I feel like to the mouth. It got to it. Yeah. It I got think it's all about the arm too. How you do it? Yeah, how you do it. It's where in you here. do it. It's like, in that elbow, that arm, elbow. <laughs> the extension, like. The extension. Beat and definitely sound like the highest Are level. Are you chest, bass, bass? Beat easily the highest yeah. level. Yeah. Just the way you gotta say beat. Are you yeah. going for the kill or are you just. Finish him. Yeah. Well, get your ass beat. You're gonna get your ass beat. It's like the highest of the right. Yeah. You're gonna get beaten and then you're gonna get your ass beat. Oh, oh. Like, like, that sound like no. That sound like all hand to hand combat right there. You it's a, I think that's a combo. It's a combo. <laughs> it's a combo. That sound like a whole out fight right there. Like, yeah, right. Fight back, 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 back. Objects and hands. Wow. So it sounds abusive. It is. Don't scare the crowd. It's all coming back to me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's what we do. We laugh over trauma and. It's not like uh, our previous generations probably haven't gone through worse, right? So. Right. It's it's true. Right. For sure. When you I mean, put it, in, don't, it, it don't mean it should be carried on. Oh, no, no, no. Facts. Yeah. So, Facts. so we breaking the cycle? We not throwing shoes at kids no more? I mean, some I'm people back. are. I ain't nah. gonna say I can't even nah. speak for the generation. Put shoes on your feet. Yeah, I ain't I see, like that. That was one of my least favorite. So favorite. I can't even speak for the generation, but I think I feel like within this circle, that's you know part of the mission. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're not throwing shoes. I feel like that's a little different because you can't really beat your kid in public like you used to. No, you like, sometimes you get yeah, beat like right outside the classroom. I mean, I feel like back in the day, you used to be able to get paddled. Like I know a nigga that got paddled. Like I mean, you ain't really. How you get paddled when you was in middle school? My dad told me not to remember that. A paddle? Mm -hmm. Wow. I can't believe that it would happen. Like, I can't imagine. I don't care who. I just can't imagine, like, for my mama or anybody giving somebody else. Did somebody get paddled at? Let's get Nah, at Hunters Creek. Leslie. No, middle school? No, Leslie. Yes. At middle oh, school, at Hunters Creek Middle School, no I remember the hallway and everything. Like, what the fuck? In the hallway? In the hallway. <laughs> in the hallway. Did the parent bring the paddle from home? Nah, they really wasn't in his life like that. You know what I mean? Oh, but it was just the it was like the teacher, principal. Yeah. Yeah. What? In in the hallway? In the hallway. That's wild. Yeah. During your youth, your childhood. This was eighth grade. Hunters Creek Middle School. What the heck? 
Lord. So that's not too long ago. And I can't imagine like some shit like I can't. I can't imagine my mama giving that a pass. No way. Absolutely. And then I can't imagine. Should have like, your ass, but oh yeah, I mean yeah. Who is the principal of the because they was able to paddle. Corporal punishment was, was a thing in public that. school. It's still a thing. I mean, it's not like a common it's cultural a thing, thing, but it's still it's legal. This no. happened in eighth grade. Yeah. Some, some 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 I, just, I just know the law, guys. I'm just saying. That is. I mean, that's good to know, though. If y'all stick that, I mean, if the parents, like, do what you got to do, honey, then. And I know some parents that still do. Like, I. Not yeah. not from my own experience, but like there's right. been teachers that I know whose parents have been True. like, if you need to Yo, excuse on. the rest of the class and True. do what you gotta do, mm. do what you gotta do. Yikes. Wow. Yeah. But you know, it's just those rare occasions that that's. And you probably they somebody they can relate to and connect with though that they feel like yeah. I'm passing the like tour. you probably would. They I probably wouldn't tell that to every teacher. You know what I'm saying? You know, but like okay, if you know, no. absolutely, with their good judgment, like <laughs> no. this person is not gonna peer abuse my child but right. you know you also know you have to know your child like my child sometimes just talking to them ain't gonna get the point across no. it's not gonna be no every day I'm just pulling off my belt and you know oh so every now and then you being there okay <laughs> and I, I feel like it's, you being there. it's not me I said again <laughs> not from my own experience <laughs> but I know a specific family at my school who has yes right. told yeah Mm. And I'm gonna give you one of my own personal belts. <laughs> mm. You know what this means? Put this in the corner. Just, the just, just, right. just okay. pull this out. out. Anytime they end up hanging this on the chalkboard, they know what it is. With Quick, like little Ron Ron Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all heard of Auntie Anita? Uh, Anita uh, underscore Lachey on Instagram uh, and YouTube. She. Pretty much everything we talk about, she play like an auntie, and she just she always look at her when you say tear that ass up. She always say that she do that yell when mama's run out of breath and shit. Like, what you going to do, man? You better stop! I tear that ass up. <laughs> oh, this is like real life. Abuse. And shit, she, she funny, but it ain't funny, bro. Like this should be tricking the fuck out of me, but she be on it. It's hilarious. We all have like a collective experience, even if we ain't really went through it. We know people that have like. Mm-hmm. Too familiar. See, see, when I really had an issue with it, when I connected it to slavery, I feel like we yeah. literally mm-hmm. got there from slavery. Yeah. That's how we were supposedly disciplined. Mm-hmm. And we carried out a lot of the same teachings. and. But it really was to keep us safe. Like, they were beating their kids so that, you know, Massa wouldn't beat them. Yeah, but they, 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 they took on a certain type of discipline that they got from Master. Right, right. You feel right. me? Just kept carrying it. Yeah, it's terrible. Be, uh, I give you something to cry about and, and don't talk back. Take this ass whooping. That sound like some straight yeah. slavery yeah. shit. Like, I don't want to hear no so, shit. You about to get this it's ass just survival mode out of you. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's forcing you. It's suppressing that. Like, I, should I, am I supposed to run? So when people deal with other traumatic shit and still and stay in it and then it's like when people ask how, how is she still in that relationship what she is she been getting beat and couldn't be not run either. don't say nothing well, it's gonna be worse yeah. mm-hmm. so it's like mm-hmm. and that ain't everybody's situation but the comparison yeah, I mean it's synonymous yeah. to me no, that's like, real mm-hmm. I mean even in terms of like in my own experience I didn't really get beat or whatever like that but my brother did so it's like mm-hmm. even like thinking about it back then they would do stuff like that in front of everybody else to show this is an example of what's going to happen to you if whatever, whatever. And I kind of had to learn through my brother, like, don't do X, Y, and Z because I see exactly what the fuck you're going through. Like, nope, I'm good on that. <laughs> well, you might come from that family that is one mess it up, we lining all y'all up and everybody getting a beat. <laughs> no, with me, it was, it was I, all y'all. I, I know somebody who used to be like, Tuesday is whooping day. Like, everybody's getting their ass whooping on Tuesday. Yeah. Just because <laughs> this might be. This for what you was thinking about going do. and what you going to do. I was watching you. This for the you things up I did. The stuff I forgot. Because I know I forgot one. I know you did something. That's why your parents get upset every Thursday and beat you. Yep. Just but they do it Tuesday like for what they might have let you slide by on food. Thursday because they didn't have the energy. I don't like when they plan out ass whooping. That's like, let a week like, go by. and right. It ain't often that happen, but when they do, it's like, that's so disrespectful. Yeah, like, why see, I ain't got that one. When you but wait till I got school dance or something, and then you're like, oh no, you can't do that. Remember that time yet? Yeah, that's your punch. Oh yeah, that ain't never happened. Oh, I got all my ass whooping. So I'm just like, within the... No, she wanted to make it hurt your soul. I ain't got no in public ass whooping. I got the, 
I mean, you know what it is when we get home, ass whoopings. Yeah, mm-hmm. several of them. That'd be a long ride home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta get. anticipate it. Oh, she don't forget. Then you wanna go to oh, bed. Oh, you wanna make your pee wet jumps out? Make sure you don't forget or something. Make you a bowl of fresh and fresh. Put your ice tea before you wanna live in it. I'm about to go wash these dishes. I'm gonna go wash these dishes. I'm gonna go wash these dishes. I got it. I got it. All right, well, after you put them dishes, after you put that food up, go on in your room and get this ass whooping. Oh, <laughs> that that real? Real? Looks out. What? Uh, what happened? Oh, what did you say? Like? I said, did y'all ever have to catch y'all, catch y'all no. looks out? No. Oh, no, I got whooped for the syllable of the word, though. Yeah, yeah, I know y'all got, y'all got the syllable beatings, though. Yeah. 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 And I, I no. tell no. you yeah. to. It always start like that. Yeah. 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 I tell you. Right, yeah. they all say the same thing. You know, you did. It's a rhetorical question. I did. And then you don't want me to say nothing. Then I'll be answering. Don't say that. Shut up. What is it? Was yeah. that I'm that glad to be grown. Was any of y'all the kid that tried to just confess and, oh, I learned my lesson? Yeah. Like, I thought I could talk I, for that. I get out. it. I well, promise Mom, I never I, do it again. I understand why I went wrong. You're absolutely right. I shouldn't have did that. Morgan, <laughs> shut the turn that around. You so nobody fall mm-hmm. back? Yeah, right. I got my ass with Right. Like, if you even move your hand. Hell no. Nah, I was like, yeah, like, my mama strong. My it's mama could still body slam me at 14. I wasn't Yeah, I'm not. Nah, I might have ran, but um, nah. Move your hand. I'm going to say that. I blocked it. I didn't move my hand. Knuckles is the worst part. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, yeah, don't block it. Knuckles. Hmm. Did y'all get to a point where the beating ain't really do it no more and you had to fake cry? Mm-mm. Y'all ain't had to... See, I yeah, got to I a point where I was so tough and I was just like... <laughs> take it. Like, that was real sweet. And like, yo, well, I get the point. Let me just start to cry because I see this is not going to end. Like, <laughs> she want to see you cry. It hurts. Yeah, it's like that way. That's his kiss. Okay. <laughs> Trying to teach a teenage son. <laughs> he just eating. <laughs> I don't know what the last beating I had. I know probably by teenage years it was definitely on site pops. You know, oh, yeah. I remember several in the car activities. You know, split the oh damn, reach across the seat and pop your ass. Oh my goodness, yeah. that you had and it didn't matter where. Hey, you tight, I got yeah. punched in the mouth after a basketball game in front of the basketball team. Jeez. Mm. Like, mm, 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 what you say? And what you gonna do? Nothing. Just staying there looking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Not in front of the basketball team. Yeah. Yeah. In front of the That's basketball best. team. I didn't know they didn't let, they didn't let that go. Don't worry. I already know. You know what I'm saying? He might be watching. He might not be. One day, if some, if ever Brandon Hobbs mm-hmm. gets mm-hmm. interviewed, he's gonna bring up that story. Oh, that's like his thing to bring up? It ain't the thing, oh. but like it's just one of the funny stories that he, and no, who's gonna forget that? And okay. like he talked about that, like all, because we went to college together too. Oh, okay. And like, yeah, I heard that story a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> so I know. <laughs> Be thinking about running away, don't got nowhere to go. Okay. Yeah, nowhere. I couldn't, I did, but it was out in the gym. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't, you know, that's my mama, so my first thing was to like, ah. So I was about to punch this window. I, yeah. I was about to punch this window, and then my coach caught me. He's like, "You gotta hit somebody." I'm like, ah! <laughs> so you gotta hit somebody. Something. I was about to punch the window. Mm-hmm. He was encouraging me to find something else to hit. Where I say that? I thought you said he told you you gotta hit somebody. Nah, he didn't say that. I said he he stopped me. Okay. You were feeling like you had to hit something. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm trapped after. We thought oh, you said okay. he said you got to hit something. Oh, no, okay. yeah, that would have been. Okay. Probably... He should have let you two piece them. Hit me, son. Hit me, not the window. That's what I thought it was going. Yeah. <laughs> So what what oh, is this new form good. of discipline that we must take up? We doing the timeouts oh, thing? Communication. Time time out. out. So your kid do some real disrespectful outlandishness, you just like 
Well, you about to get a stern yeah. talking to. No, oh, what about, about what about lie? What if the kid lies? It's a good kid, but he lies just because it's like okay. See, I think lying is something you can very well talk about. But say the kid yeah. like, but we didn't have beef for lying. Mom, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, I feel like there's certain things. But oh no, maybe it's a pride thing. There's certain yeah. things that my child doesn't respect me. I don't know. Like, just write my name on the wall. I like. Oh I'm trying to figure out how that conversation is going to go. Hey, son, don't call me out of my name anymore. Oh, no, we got to even going head at That's not even going to happen. So, I mean, I think, I think there's levels to them learning lessons. Every day that we're alive, whether regardless of what age we're at, we're, we're here for something, we're here to learn a lesson. So, we know that they have quite a few lessons they've got to learn. I think we got to be everything from the beginning. Some things really require, like, a thorough understanding. Like, listen, listen, dude. If you get on this habit of not telling the whole truth or leaving stuff out or, or thinking that you can get away with this stuff, you're going to quickly find that life don't work that way. And you're going to find out the long and hard way. I mean, like, really bring it down to a fundamental, I need you to understand this. This is why I don't want you to lie. Not because it's just that. No, this is really why I don't need you to lie. Girl, to, to the level in which they can understand. But I think, like, that's, that goes along with just being intentional from the beginning, though. Like, don't wait until they make those mistakes to be teaching those things. Like, That's you have to instill idea. that in them from early on. Like, And if you create that habit of truth and honesty and respect and like patience and things like that, then I think that'll kind of... I mean, they're still going to be influenced by other things, by other people. Yeah, but it if you set the tone of like what you expect from them and set the expectation high, then you kind of will have maybe, hopefully, less of those times where you feel like I gotta talk back and you know cause yeah I don't think that's the way cause I mean you can still do that and they still go back and do the same thing because they don't understand if your reaction is just let me just knock the shit out of you then without having that conversation still it's like yeah Yeah, I ain't gonna lie so I had two forms of discipline coming up you know definitely got the beat cause I don't recall that really working all that right. made me want to do is hide it or do it better the right. next time where I don't get caught mm-hmm. and it definitely built up some resentment ooh I don't soccer ooh, I'm, <laughs> ooh I'm, man my mama ooh she lucky she ain't a man <laughs> like I don't know that was the type of feelings I had you know she mess, you know how mom could come back and want to kind of Give that nurturing. I, I don't want none of that right now. Yeah, like I don't care about I beat you for love or none of that. I don't want to hear it. But my granddad, my granddad would literally like say we got in trouble at school, whatever, whatever. Thank you. He would pick us up, mess around, take us out to eat. We had go to corral. It might even be a week or two after we got in trouble, so we don't even know exactly what's going on. Sometimes we do know what time it is when he'll come pick us up, but. His discipline was literally asking us about the situation. He may have had a backstory on the situation, but he asked us, "What? So what? What happened at school the other day? You be trying to lie or spin it? Like, nah. Well, this is what I heard. Oh, I didn't even know you heard, but yeah. And then you'll get to asking like, why you do that? You knew you was gonna get in trouble, right? And you just sitting there looking dumb, like, yeah, I knew I was gonna get in trouble. I don't know why I did that." I'm actually kind of dumb for doing that. <laughs> so it's kind of tell other family members. Oh yeah, that's what that would know, be, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll circulate through if, like, if I, if something happened with him, my mama gonna find out, our other aunts gonna find out, our grandfather, our grandmother. It's, like, it's, it's gonna circulate peace. through, and like, and then everybody gonna have a piece of your situation. Mm-hmm. Like, like he said, our grandfather gonna sit you down and ask you questions and make you think about the shit. Ain't gonna talk. Well, he gonna talk you to death too. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be a nice story. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, the rest of it is will make you think about the shit. Like, what's going on with your shit? Throw it in your face. You know how to not get these three hour conversations, right? Should have charged you for that. It's free. Yeah, this one here gonna be free. You did this shit all the time. <laughs> Like they used to find out everything. It was one uh, time I came home, my first summer home from college, and I was trying to uh, get this job at I feel like Circuit City or something. And I smoked weed. So I went to take a drug test for the job, didn't even know I was going to.
gonna have to take a drug test. You know, uh, and they called me one day, yeah, we need you to do this within the next 24 hours. I'm like, shit, and I had to go to this basketball uh, camp that day. And I, so I was like, all right, I'll be able to sweat it out. Somebody told me it's in your fat cell. Sweat, it, you out. sweat it out. So I'm about, to, I'm, about to, I'm about to hoop hard as hell, sweat it out. My homie had some nicin. I took like two nicin. Thought that was going to be enough to cleanse it. Went and took the drug test, failed that joint. <laughs> and then, like, I had just told everybody else, like, I just didn't get the job because they didn't hire me. I had told my mom I had failed the drug test. But, like, Thing like that summer we used to always go on these like summer yummy you know I mean, trips. All the uh, all the boys, me, him, uh, the cousins, and uh, him and my uncle. And used to be you know I mean one night we would just do like these rap sessions where like, we'd just sit around and talk about a bunch of different stuff. And if you done got into some shit that year, we'll talk about all that. So we gonna discuss it. We gonna break it down as men. We gonna chop it up. And you know what I'm saying this is a thinking but rapping session at the same time. You know, so, you know, pop our bring up, you know. You know, remember you had the, you know, the, the interview for Circuit City? I'm like, yeah, I remember. He was like, yeah, you didn't get that job. And I was like, yeah, I you know. He's like, you know. <laughs> you sound so <laughs> Why didn't you? Why didn't you? And I'm like, I don't even know. <laughs> you know. He said, you don't know? They didn't, they didn't tell you you didn't get the job. And I'm like. I don't know why I didn't get the job. He's like, was there a drug test for your job? <laughs> now that's where you fucked up. Because it's like your opportunity to be like, oh yeah, this happened. Or you going to be like, nah. Because now this one, like, oh man, what's going on? So I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, he had a drug test. It's like, well, how, how did that go? It's like, oh man. <laughs> now I'm stuck because like, oh man, this is crazy. What do I do right here? For sure, peace, peace. Well, we appreciate you dropping through. Right. Yes. You know, where can they find you if you know they want to tap into the exchange? Oh, I'm all in the camera. M O R E M Y underscore on Which camera? Your booty in that one. Well, that's my father. These my people. I try okay. to get my ink okay. on them. Oh, hey y'all. I hate y'all had to see me like that.